Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to go over how to describe a wound bed. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So there are many ways to describe the wound bed. So this is the actual open wound that we're describing. Um, so we can describe it. Let me get my pointer out here as pink or red. So this is just a clean open area with pink or red tissue. Okay. Now this differs from granulation tissue because this is our more firm red. Um, it's moist, kind of pebbly, um, and it is also healthy tissue. Then we have our slough. Okay, so this is either dry or wet. It can be loose or firmly attached, um, and it's yellow to brown dead tissue. So slough, it's not viable, viable tissue. And then we have our eschar. Um, this is our dry black to brown dead tissue. Okay, it's just dead. It's very hard on there. Um, we can have foreign bodies. So this is either like structures, uh, hardware, meshes, um, anything that's under the skin that was placed in there surgically. Um, you can also have different foreign bodies um, if the patient was like impaled by something and there were, or there's something under the skin um, and you can see that in the wound base, that would also be a foreign body. Um, underlying structures, so this is anything that's already there, so your bone, your tendon, um, ligaments, anything that's already there that you can physically see, okay? Um, not visible, so if you have tunnels, sinuses um, that are going deep, if you can't see the wound base or how far it goes and you're using your cotton tip applicator to prod down um, to feel into these tracks, um, that is a non-visible, um, and you would just describe it, the tunnel as non-visible. Um, and others, it's just anything that you can't put into any of these categories, you would just have to describe it. So I just thought I would add some pictures here and go over each one individually. So your um, just pink, red, clean, open, um, this is a nice healthy wound and um, you can see it's just pink here. Um, your granulation tissue, um, so you can see it almost looks firm. So you'll, you'll be able to feel that firmness um, and it is moist, it looks pebbly and that's healthy tissue. Next, we have our slough. So this can either be dry or wet. Um, it's either going to be loosely or firmly attached. And it's yellow to brown, as you can see here. So it is just dead tissue, and we would have to work on removing that um, with a debridement method. Uh, next, we have our eschar. And now this is just our dry black, um, just dead tissue okay um, something like this on the heel we would never remove um, unless it starts becoming unstable there because of blood flow issues next we have our foreign body so you can see a piece of hardware here um, sticking out of the leg but sometimes you have a wound here and you can see um, like like a mesh or or the appliance so it's not actually sticking out of the leg you can just see it in the wound base um so it can it can happen for either way but it is a foreign body and then we have our not visible so this was kind of hard to um, put into a picture form um because you would be able to really see this from here depending how deep it is and then just depending on how deep this tunnel goes like if it came out to about here area like you wouldn't be able to see that so that's non-visible um so your deep sinus tracks um that just kind of keep going and it seems like there's no base to it um 
But even if you're putting the cotton tip applicator up to about this area, like you're not going to be able to see it. So it's not visible. So that's all I have for this video. I hope it does help you to be able to describe that wound base. And I'll catch you in my next video, guys. See ya.